Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and I'm back for another week of Tasty Tuesday. And I thought we would put this fun dish together today called Warm Kale Potato Dill Salad. It was submitted to the Mount Vernon Farmer's Market Cookbook by Barbara. And it's really delicious with all of the backyard barbecues uh, coming up. There's a big one this weekend. So I thought this one would be a really great one to try out with you. So first, um, I have two pounds of small red and yellow potatoes that I have quartered and boiled in a pot of salted water. Um, those are finished, and so I'm just gonna toss those in the bowl now. If you wanna use potatoes you already have and don't wanna go buy the small yellow ones, um, you know, you can use what you what you have, what you would usually use for potato salad. I like to keep my skins on, and um, I like the color and the fiber, but if you're used to potato salad um, being peeled, then go for it. So we've got the potatoes in here, and next I'm going to make the dressing. Very simple. I love this one because it's not mayo-based. Now don't get me wrong, I love the mustardy, mayo-based potato salad so, so much. But it's nice to have something different every once in a while. And if you're gonna have this out on the table for a bit, um, this one not being mayo-based is a lot safer. So, um, I've put in a jar six tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna toss in two tablespoons of white vinegar. Um, Barbara says in the recipe that she used a tarragon vinegar, vinegar, which sounds so good to me and I wish I had on hand, but I don't. So we're gonna stay with white vinegar. Um, then two tablespoons of lemon juice. That was about half of a really big juicy lemon I had, but um, if you're working with a smaller lemon, it might just be one. So we put that in, and also, I don't wanna forget the, one of the most important things, I've got about four tablespoons of chopped dill here, fresh dill, and I'm really excited about this recipe because of all that dill. So we're gonna put that in the jar, and give it a shake. All right, let's let that sit for a second. And let me show you what I have going on over here in the pot. So I have sauteed a medium-sized onion in about a tablespoon of olive oil until it got soft. And then I added in two cloves of garlic, two really big cloves of garlic. And then a head of lacinato kale. You could use whatever kind of kale you like or have in this though. Now let's talk about kale because I know some people love it and some people hate it. Um, it's really important to prep your kale correctly. If you don't like kale, I would almost guarantee it's because you're not having it prepared correctly. So you wash it, take it off the stem after you wash it. Those stems aren't great. You can eat them, but why? <laughs> so take it off the stem, really massage it. Pretend it's you at the end of a long, hard day and just get in there after it. Massage it with your fingertips. Um, and then you're gonna take it, and I like to dice it really, really finely. Again, when you're chopping it, that's just a little bit more massaging. You're doing breaking down some of that tough, that tough fibrous nature that kale has. And then sauteing it with the onion and garlic is gonna make it so good. So that's my little speech on kale. <laughs> um, the recipe doesn't call for this, but I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to the kale and onion and garlic mixture. Um, I put a little bit of, or actually a lot of salt in the water when I boil my, um, when I boil my potatoes. But other than that, there's no salt in this recipe, and I think that's really important. So once that's finished, you're gonna add it to your potatoes. We're gonna give our dressing just a another quick shake for good measure. Drizzle that in. I realize I'm not actually showing you what I'm doing here. Everything's going into a bowl. Give it a quick stir. And 
And that is it, my friends. Your potato salad is ready to go. I'm gonna give this a quick try. Mmm, that vinegar is so, so good. I love the brightness that that brings. The dill, fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Just a reminder that you can pick up our Mount Vernon Farmer's Market cookbook at the market when you're there. We'll see you this Saturday.